Hi guys, today we will be looking at 30 idioms part 2. To understand what's an idiom, please watch this video, idioms part 1. It will be in the description below. First, I will say the idiom, then I will give the meaning of the idiom, and then I will use the idiom in a sentence. Let's go. Hit the sack or hit the hay to go to bed. 7.30, said Mackay's dad. It's time to turn off your tablet and hit the sack. Hold your horses. Slow down. Stop and think about what you're doing. Hold your horses, their mom said. You can't go swimming until you put on your life jacket. It's not rocket science. Use to describe something that is not difficult. All you have to do is put the plates back on the right shelf. It's not rocket science. It's raining cats and dogs. When it's raining very hard. I hope you have your raincoat. It's raining cats and dogs out there. Let someone off the hook. To not hold someone accountable for something. Larry was caught running in the corridor, but Mr. Winston let him off the hook because he knew he was late for the doctor's appointment. Miss the boat. To be too late for something that's already started. Joe wanted to join the football team, but he was too late to sign up and missed the boat. On thin ice. In an unsafe situation or position. When Mrs. Summer had to ask Pam and Sam to stop playing in the kitchen for the sixth time, she warned them both that they were on thin ice. Play it by air. To figure things out as you go. We didn't get an agenda in advance, so we will just have to play it by air as we go along. Pull someone's leg. To tease or try to fool someone. No. The store isn't really giving away free shoes. I was just pulling your leg. Hang in there. Don't give up. Keep on trying. I'm sorry you're having a hard day, Nadia told Star. Hang in there. I'm sure things will be better soon. Hit or miss. Something that might be good sometimes or bad other times. Anne was a bit hit or miss when it came to remembering to clean her shoes on Saturdays. Pull yourself together. To calm yourself down when you're very upset. I know you're upset that your team lost the race, 
but you need to pull yourself together and go congratulate the winners. Second wind. A fresh burst of energy. Fatima thought she was too tired to go to the party after her dance show. But then she got a second wind. Spill the beans. To give away a secret. Mara's surprise party was ruined when Dawn spilled the beans a few days before. Take a rain check. To postpone a plan until another time. I would enjoy playing netball after camp, but I have to go home to study for my exams. Can I take a rain check? The ball is in your court. The decision or next step is up to you. The coordinator told the teacher she could teach grade one or three. The ball is in your court, she said. The early bird gets the worm. Those who arrive first have a better chance of success or getting the best things. Betty and Jem showed up to find the best rooms at camp already taken. The early bird gets the worm, said Hode with a grin. The elephant in the room. A large noticeable problem that people are avoiding mentioning or dealing with. After waiting for Laura to explain our engagement, her dad finally decided it was time to address the elephant in the room. The icing on the cake. Something that makes a good situation even better. The students were excited to learn they would earn a place in the top 10, finding out it would take place in the United States was the icing on the cake. The last straw. The last in a series of events that causes someone to run out of patience. That's the last straw, said Roy after his sister's bike ran over his foot. Go play in the park. The whole nine yards. Everything all the way. Camille and Nova went the whole nine yards to make sure Kenesha's wedding was really special. Through thick and thin. Through good or bad times. Sandra and Rakisha had been best friends since high school, sticking together through thick and thin to get bent out of shape to get upset about something I didn't mean to jump on your food there is no need to get bent out of shape about it to make a long story short to give simple details about something instead of a long description. To make a long story short, Devon didn't submit his final project and that's why he is not in school. Under the weather, to be sick. 
Ruth was under the weather, so she didn't attend the party. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Dealing with a problem when it occurs and not when the problem hasn't happened as yet. We might have a lockdown on Friday, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Wrap your head around something. To understand something complicated or surprising. It's hard to wrap my head around just how fast bolts can run. You can say that again. Completely agree with what someone just said. This cake is the best dessert I ever ate, said Gail. You can say that again, Kim agreed. Your guess is as good as mine. When someone has no idea what the answer is to a question or problem. Do you know how to solve number 10 on our science assignment? Mary asks. Your guess is as good as mine, Angel replied. In hot water, be in trouble. The children knew they were in hot water for eating all the cake. Out of the blue, with no warning, the plane came out of the blue and hit the house. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please remember, you can look in the description below and you will find Idioms Part 1. You can also find videos related to reading and also grammar. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye!